It's nice to welcome you to Music at Noon. How are you today? Midday masterpieces to put you in a mood of meditation. So today, we're so glad Michael Dahlberg is with us. He is a cellist. And I'm glad that Michael Dahlberg has friends because he brought with him Igor Veligan on violin and Natsuki Fukasawa on piano. They've all played for music at noon before, but I'm not sure if they've come together as a trio. It sounds like they've played together for decades, but they're not that old, so. Um, I've been listening to the rehearsal and I was moved to tears on some of this music. So you are in for a very wonderful, memorable experience today. We're hearing some composers that you know, Bach, Poulenc, Mozart, and some of you may know Perrot, Arvo Perrot, and fewer of you may know Babajanian. And um, I won't say anything about the music because I don't need to. They will say it all when they play. So we're starting with the Bach unaccompanied prelude from cello suite number six. Please give Michael Dahlberg a fine welcome. Thank you. 
Now that I've had my moment in the spotlight up on center stage, I'll be relegated back to where we keep the pianists. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here today. Uh, I'm Mike Dahlberg, and I'm really lucky to be joined by Natsuki Fukusawa on piano and Igor Velagan on violin. We have a really wonderful program that was Bach, uh, originally written for five strings and a really fun acrobatic warm-up on four strings. Our program is dawn to dusk, music uh, evoking and, and bringing to, to light uh, all of the wonderful colors you might see and the feelings you have as you look at dawn and experience the daylight leaving us. Next up, Melancholy by Poulenc for solo piano, after which we'll be joined all three together for some piano trios.
So the remainder of the program will feature all three of us now in piano trios. And we're actually going to play these as a kind of set, starting with Mozart, followed by Arvo Pert, and then over to the Babajanian piano trio. A few words on these pieces that we'll hear. Uh, this, Mozart is classical, bright, shining, happy. And the Arvo Pert, uh, if, if you're not familiar with this composer, he's an Estonian composer, uh, written not too long ago. And it's actually a direct, it directly quotes uh, a Mozart F major piano sonata in its entirety with commentary uh, from Arvo Pert. And the effect is almost, uh, to me, it feels like a kaleidoscope, uh, looking through Mozart through a kaleidoscope, splintering that Mozart. And that'll help transition us into our Babajanian trio. Babajanian, Soviet era composer, uh, Armenian born, and that music is full of uh, Armenian folk tunes and a lot of inspiration from Rachmaninoff. So as Igor, um, I think, put it very well earlier today, it's, uh, it's like Armenian Rachmaninoff. Beautiful melodies, very memorable, incredibly, uh, incredible variety of harmony and color that shifts, like it comes like waves over you throughout that music. And, um, and before we play this, I just want to give a shout out and a huge thank you to, um, to a couple friends. Uh, excuse me. So um, both Igor and I are using some really beautiful, special uh, bows today that were, um, uh, that were offered to us for this performance by friends Bill, Karen, and Brian. And, and we're so excited to use these today. They, they are so amazing. Uh, hi. So amazing for um, bringing out especially the colors uh, I find in the Mozart and the uh, Arvo Pert. So it's a very special opportunity. Thank you so much for giving us this chance to use this beautiful equipment. So here it is, Mozart, Arvo Pert, into the Baba Janian. Thank you.
We have one more movement to share with you before we wrap up today. It's the third movement of the Babajanian. But before we do, I just wanted to say thank you again for joining us today in this beautiful space, um, beautiful concert series uh, with some great friends, too. Um, it's been so much fun to share this with you. And uh, now we get to lead off with a bit of a strange party, I guess. <laughs> This last movement is full of uh, folk tunes and irregular dance rhythms that'll make you want to move your body but not be quite sure how to do it. <laughs> so here it is, the last movement of the Baba Johnny, and thank you again for joining us. Please come and say hello afterward if you can.
Michael, Igor, and uh, Natsuki, stay out here a few minutes. We want to brag about you and talk about you. Um, I don't know about you. I needed some Kleenex in that middle movement. How, were you using any tissue on that middle movement? Oh, my gosh. Extraordinary music that we should know more. But then again, maybe it's because it's too hard to play. Most people can't play it. And, and I mean, this, this has to be a masterpiece recording that we have that you're going to share with your friends and your friends. This music is just astounding. And your um, ensemble is amazing. I see the strings are watching each other. And you're, you're following the motions and the feelings of each other. And Natsuki, you're playing just the right level to make this mix com perfectly balanced. Um, and the energy from the lows to the highs, um, the spaces between are long like we, like we need them, is just masterful, just masterful. And um, please share this uh, video with your friends and um, come up and express your appreciation to the artist today for introducing us to an art to, to introducing us to um, Baba Janian that we don't really know very well. I don't know why. I think it's because the music is so hard. Most people can't play it. Um, but uh, and I read in a Wikipedia that um, after he had played uh, performed this in public for the first time, he was it was an instant hit, and it kind of put him on the map, didn't it? And so, thank you so much. And from the Bach to the Poulenc solos that were just masterfully played. That Poulenc, melancholy indeed, um, and, and played so expressively, um, Natsuki. And the Bach, beautifully soloed in this beautiful space. All three of you, we can't thank you enough. We hope that you will come back again soon. And next week, we have the great uh, composer series that Susan Lamb Cook brings to us with her friends. And uh, I think we have Beethoven and uh, Mozart on the concert next week. I'm not absolutely sure, but hope to see you then. Come again. Have a great week. Happy Easter. I also play a violin, not very good. 
But do you ever, I know you got a new phone, do you ever change the phone or, or the strings on the camera? Oh, it helps with the tears, yes. So, sometimes you have to change the strings. Oh, it helps with the tears. Oh, 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 Different from the other one. 